Hi everyone, welcome to the Internet Storyteller, where I share the latest, greatest, and sometimes the most horrific stories of the internet. Please do like and subscribe, thank you very much. A link to each story will be in the description below, thank you so much. Our very first story is entitled, You're Starving My Child! I am a teenage nerd going to an IT magnet school where the workload rivals a 9 to 5 job. I go to McDonald's to spend my limited allowance money. My family has a policy where allowance money spent on good things such as self-improvement projects etc is refunded to me plus a dollar. So if I buy a book on how to cook and then learn from it, I get the money I spent on it and a dollar back. I'm sitting here at a table close to the entrance. Enter the entitled parent and entitled child. They enter the store, look at the board, and then look at me. Now I'm here and I sat down a minute ago. My burger is untouched. I ate only a few fries and I'm browsing through Reddit. The parent comes up to me. Entitled parent says, I'm sorry to bother you, but my family is running short on money. My little boy is hungry. I say, okay ma'am. Entitled parent says, can you spare us some food? Now I'm here thinking I can get myself a dollar out of this. So I say, sure. I go up and order a happy meal for the child, apple slices and milk. I get the meal and turn around. Entitled kid has taken bites out of my burger, one of the $8 signature meal ones. An entitled parent is downing my fries. I say, what the heck? Entitled parent says, we were hungry. I say, I bought your son a Happy Meal. You were supposed to get that, not eat my meal. Entitled kid says, Mommy, I want the Happy Meal. Entitled parent says, Well, we'll take the Happy Meal. I say, No way, you horrible woman. You just ate my savings for the month. Entitled parent says, What the heck did you call me? At this point, the employees notice. One says something to the manager. The manager says, Is there a problem here? I say, Yes. These two just ate my meal. Entitled parent says, He stole my little boy's happy meal. I say, I bought this because you said your boy was starving. I didn't mean for you to put your grubby hands on it. Entitled parent says, He verbally abused my son. Here, I'm standing dumbfounded. Entitled kid continues to devour my burger. I take it from his hands and he starts whining. Entitled kid, Mom, you said he wouldn't notice. The manager says, Ma'am, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Entitled parent says, He just touched my son. The manager says, Ma'am, you need to leave now. The parent and her kids storm out. The manager reimburses me for the Happy Meal and the Signature Meal. I go home and my parents refund me the money and a dollar, despite the fact that the manager already reimbursed me. Yay for double money! The end. Our second story for the day is... Entitled Mom is Back from Jail. So, this happened during the week. So, remember Karen who broke my glass door and tried to steal my Xbox? Well, this person is back and boy, she was mad. And she moved into a mobile home park near my neighborhood and the first thing she did was go to our house and harass my family. She banged on her door and when my dad saw her, he immediately said, this lady's gotta be off her nut. She seems to have not learned a lesson. And we ignored her. But she kept blaming us for her divorce and how she can't see her kid anymore. And she kept insulting my Scottish heritage and how we get annoyed 
and we warned her to leave. My dad says, Oh, could you stop banging on our door? You don't seem to have spent enough time in jail, have you? Karen says, It's all your fault. I can't see my kid anymore. My dad says, No one asked you to be a loony bastard. Now leave our property or else. Karen says, I'm going to sue you. My dad says, Go ahead. It's worth a try. You should be embarrassed. Why not ruin your reputation again? The entitled mom says, See you in jail, you bastard. My dad says, See you in H-E-L-L, you numpty. At about 11 p.m., we get a knock on the door. It was the police, and they told us we got a call saying we assaulted a lady and stole from her. My dad says, You know that crazy lady from last time? She made those calls. The policeman says, Oh yeah, that mother with that crazy kid. Yeah, so sorry for bothering you guys. Have a nice night. We'll deal with her for you. Then this happened. When I was walking home from school, Karen came out of nowhere and punched me. Then she took off running with my backpack. My friends chased her down and we tackled her. I got my bag and we started a stompathon on this woman. Oh my goodness. We walk away and I sure hope she doesn't decide to burn our house down. All we know is how she could hold a grudge after several months in jail. Then again, this might be the most unbelievable thing to happen, but this happens because I live in a bad part of the neighborhood and we plan on moving to another place ASAP. So the end. I hope you enjoyed both of these stories. Uh, that second one was a little bit strange because I don't recommend uh, stomping on any lady no matter how <laughs> crazy she is. Okay, well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the stories and please support the channel by subscribing and liking. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time. I'm the Internet Storyteller. Bye!